What I wanted to do was create a company that reflected what my views of Christianity are. Here in Macon Bibb County, officials are considering decriminalizing Mr. Meaner marijuana possession. ...in jail and a $1,000 fine, but two Macon Bibb commissioners are looking to change that. And as more states begin to legalize it, there's growing interest in a cannabis extract, cannabidol, also known as CBD. This is legal in the state of Georgia as the dried plant form if it's hemp, which looks an awful lot like marijuana. But let's get this straight. The two are strikingly different. According to Business Insider, cannabis is a family of plants with two classifications, indica and sativa. Marijuana can be considered a member of either families and even be a hybrid, but hemp is solely a member of the cannabis sativa family. While hemp contains a low concentration of THC, less than 0.3, marijuana can have plenty, and the THC is what makes you high. Cannabis oil use officially became legal in Georgia in 2015, and Georgians all over the state have jumped at the opportunity to partake in the wave of CBD usage. Big John CBD store in Macon, Georgia, tries to bring a different meaning of CBD use in the Deep South. Jonathan Keene, the store's co-owner and founder, says he wanted to create a company that reflected his views of Christianity. I grew up um, in a Southern Baptist household, went to church every Sunday. Uh, my father was the deacon and the assistant pastor and all that. For years, I struggled uh, with Christianity, with God, with, with all of that, because what people act like in the churches today and what they preach are two different things. What I wanted to do was create a company that reflected what my views of Christianity are, and that's that God is love. A big reason I wanted to do this company was so that I could spread that love throughout the community. We're using this business as simply a platform to share our faith. When, when John first told me about it, I said, no, man, I, I grew up in the church. We don't do stuff like that. CBD, I, nobody's going to smoke that marijuana. He said, look, man, it's, it's not marijuana, it's CBD. Big John's carries a range of different products, from oils and topicals to edibles and hemp flower form. There's no substantial medical evidence that proves CBD at these levels are a viable option for medicinal alternatives. However, some claim that the remedies have been life-changing. CBD will help with like pain, inflammation, anxiety, depression, PTSD. Uh, I know the suicide rate in middle Georgia right now is super high. Um, veterans are struggling with that. The list goes on and on. Uh, we can sit here all day and, uh, and I can name off things that are benefits of using CBD. Our number one job is education. As I researched the product and um, realized that, man, this, this is just safe as a bowl of butter beans right here. So there was no reason to not jump on especially after I listened to boatloads of testimonies from young people all the way to extremely old people, way past me, sharing what this product had done for them. And then I just thought, man, we, we can't not do this. If we can just be a light in the community, Keen says he's faced a rocky road to become a CBD store in the Deep South. It was um, extremely painful, um, just being honest with you. Uh, a lot of the people that I approached uh, with the idea, they, they didn't like it. They thought it was a horrible idea. We've hit a lot of different roadblocks, whether that be with money fines um, that we would have to pay in order to get licensing and application fees, uh, to uh, being rated. And, uh, and having uh, the Sheriff's Department come up here and, uh, and raid us. What we feel like, what we're doing right here, has a tremendous impact on people's lives and the quality of their life. Just using a natural product that God provided for us, I think it's just the coolest thing on the planet. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm not gonna judge them, that's not for me to do. But it's not for them to do either. Um, if their relationship with God and if their um, focus on religion um, drives them to have a disdainment for my company, then there's a bigger problem with what they've got going on. 
uh, than with what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I've had people tell me, well, this is crazy and God doesn't tell people to do crazy things or he expects you to use common sense. And my response for that's always been the same thing. Walking on water ain't common sense. Building a boat in the desert ain't common sense. You know, a burning bush ain't common sense. God works the way he works and he works through me the way he works through me. And I made a commitment to him and I firmly believe that life is real simple. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. Yeah, I don't care. You can be a singer, athlete, business owner, CBD seller. It doesn't matter. If you do everything that you do for his glory and to make him known, then, then you're good. You're good and you're winning.